Keeping our eyes fixated in the port city of Busan, where the plenipotentiary conference is held, Science and Creativity Festival is being held on the sidelines to provide a playing field for students with aims to boost their creativity. Our Connie Kim highlights some of the innovative concepts and scientific inventions that will permeate into our lives. You can see it, try it, and feel it. It's ICT, Information and Communications Technology, combined with science technology, which has become a vital part of our daily lives. Smart classrooms seek to provide education to students all over the world. This can be seen in one of the smart classrooms that Korea is seeking to make available all over the world. Be it in disaster-affected regions or in rural communities, this container-reformed smart classroom can charge itself through solar panels on the roof. This smart board, for example, as students draw lines on the board to make the same four shapes. Now, by sending the same screen to students via their tablet PC textbooks, everyone gets an opportunity to try it out. In addition to the smart technology, students during the Korea Science and Creativity Festival were also able to engage in experiments and activities that came together under the umbrella of science and IT. Snowboarding combined with science was such an amazing experience. I would like to see more of these. For the exhibitors, they say it's an opportunity to meet people and promote their newest technology. A lot of students seem to be amazed when they see 3D printers. By showing people how objects get printed in 3D, it's an opportunity to promote them. It's these science technologies that the science ministry believes are going to be the growth engines of Korea's economy. During the annual Science and Creativity Festival held on the sidelines of the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference, hundreds of schools, institutions and companies have laid out some 400 creative programs that may become a part of our everyday lives in the very near future. Connie Kim, Arirang News, Busan.